like obvious that you're gonna be aggressive, right? You know, it's just like you just, yeah. just kind of stay, hold your ground, and just look for an opening. All right, next up we got uh. Oh, is that? Uh, oh, I know this guy. Oh, is that Zing? Um, I'm no. not sure. I know Adbo. <laughs> oh, that's the Midas. Oh. Okay, there is some I confusion. I knew I recognized them. Get out of here! Don't. This is. Uh, I am salty though, so thanks for the soy sauce. <laughs> um, Every time I see Demitus, I'm like, I know that guy. And then someone says, yeah, that's Demitus. And I'm like, oh. So, who's Demitus playing now? Uh, I heard Mewtwo and... You know what? I don't know. Yeah, that's... A, what is up with Chicago? Do they have a character crisis forever? I've All told Demitus this, and I will stand by my statement. But Demitus, you play movement characters. Those are your best characters. You're good with Falcon. You're good with Meta Knight. You're good with Fox. Mewtwo isn't entirely movement-based, but he's got good movement. Yeah, you can, All of your characters are movement players, and I encourage you to play movement character. You've been playing a lot of Bayo recently, who isn't the movement character, uh, but is still a good character. Demitus' bayonet is really good, but Demitus, if you watch this, please play your movement characters, because that's where you shine. That's what you're good at. It is where you, it is where you shine. And now we have Game & Watch. Now, this is Advo. He is from Michigan. He recently got in a PR. He is a, quite a good Game & Watch. As we'll, as we'll see here, he's very good at the 2-2%. Two, two He'll typically try to stop doing damage once he knows you're in the range for it. And I, I know he's definitely studied the spreadsheet, but watch out here! Yeah, Meta Knight against floaties. Typically, you most characters want to combo a heavy character. Mm -hmm. Meta Knight is the exact opposite. He wants the floaty characters. If he gets a dash attack, like, Game & Watch might even die right now. <laughs> right now, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of absurd uh, how paper light uh, Game & Watch is, but... Ooh, the and he's aware of it too. I feel like he would not have gone for that. I could be wrong, but I feel like he would not have gone for that if he weren't playing Meta Knight, who could kill him so early. Yeah, he'll, he'll typically go for it when he feels like he's uh, behind. He'll go for the hammer. Oh my goodness. If he would have held that for a little bit longer, I believe that would have hit. He wouldn't have rolled past him, so. We do have a game to watch in Chicago. His name is Josh King. So most of us have experience in that matchup. However, I don't know if there is a skill difference between these two players. But either way, Demitus has fought Game & Watch before. Oh! Just barely be able to escape that. But yeah, the, especially like with Game & Watch spacing, it's so wonky, right? He he, does, he's not, he doesn't have a sword, but he has great disjoints, you know? Yeah, the, and, and it's fair and it's bare. Yeah. And then that's invincible. It's basically like a Mario Bros. up smash, but more powerful and a little bit slower. Yeah, a lot slower, but... Unlike the Mario Brothers who have invincibility on their head, his whole body is invincible, so you can't hit him with anything. Right. They really like to... Often people will want to land on you. You can't do that against Game of Watch. No. I, 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 think I don't think Meta Knight... I think you can sweep his feet, but they're so small because the helmet's so big, you know? I don't think Meta Knight can land on people in general. I don't know if he has landing on his opponent options, but against Game of Watch especially, you don't want to do it. No, not at all. And even on the... Like, if he... Um, if he dash attacks while Game Watch is throwing out that up smash, it, it, it'll, he'll just get obliterated. It, like, it won't matter at all. But right now, Game Watch, this is Game Watch's problem. Uh, oh, he could be dead here. Dead. Oh, he, oh okay. he still died. Okay. He got the sours because the sweet spot is the hammer tips. Yeah, they go upwards. The, oh! Okay. Right back to even Demitus. In combination with being good with uh, movement characters, he's also got some next level leads on occasion. Yeah, and that's what you really need with Meta Knight. If you can't get the up B kills as early as you want on Game of Watch, a read is exactly what you want. Uh -oh. And especially with Meta Knight Forge Match, even if the read is inaccurate, it's relatively safe. It is. Uh, it, the recovery is... I mean, if you hit someone's shield, it'll basically just peck at them, and then, like, you, it's very, very it's difficult to punish. It's almost for unpunishable. Watch. Yeah. Almost. Game of Watch might be able to dash attack it if you're able to react to it. He also does have invincibility on the head of his dash attack, so. Yeah, he puts on that construction hat for, for business. Okay. So they're bo both, the, both of these players are being really, really careful. But the dash attack, there's the opening! And he's hanging on, but the next dash attack could kill. Absolutely. Yeah, that one, I was surprised he, uh, we didn't even see sparks, actually. But. Ooh. Advo with a lot of risky landing options here. He's basically landing right in front of him. Demitus actually kind of scared, rolling away. Being scared that Advo will, Advo will just press the A button. Yeah, Meta Knight's jab, is, I'm sorry, uh, Game Watch's jab is super good, but I haven't seen a lot of it. Yeah, uh, Advo typically likes to retreat, go in when he can. Ooh, close, getting that 2 2. But he didn't get the down throw, so he didn't set up any higher. Again, if he would have held that, he would have caught that spot dodge. 
And again, safe on shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's getting right out of there. He doesn't want to deal with that. Yeah, he, he, he didn't want to risk, like, maybe I could dash attack it. No, he just rolled away. He just went, he's like, no, I don't want to deal with it anymore. <sighs> Man, I always get scared of that shield so low that down tilt coming out really fast. Yeah, had he not hit the shield with the up smash, then, then the down tilt would not have hit it. And yeah, <laughs> Tobias wants to dip because he is not comfortable with his shield right now. And that's why he's going in the air, right? So exactly. He, just he doesn't want to get caught at all. He wanted the up throw because the platform was right there, so he wanted to get the grab and the up throw right, right away. And it looks like both of them are just content to throw out their smash attacks. Both of them are fairly safe there up it air. Is. Gonna clear out the stock. Advil gonna take one game one over to Midas. Uh, and uh, the reason that 2-2, two -two, sometimes it'll connect and sometimes it won't. But right there, uh, Demitis fast fell into it. So even though the first hit kind of pushed him up, he was falling so fast that momentum uh, kept going. And then he got hit by the second hit. Was able to, Edvo was able to take the game. All right, game two. I don't know if we're going to see a counterfeit from Demitis. Um, his fox is, his foxes, his characters, typically he, he's good with fox, but Game & Watch is really good at edge guarding. Uh, so Fox might not be the best option, even though he might win the matchup. Mewtwo, however, has fairly good recovery. He doesn't have to worry about that. However, yeah, Game & Watch has decisive kill power, and the Mewtwo is pretty light, even lighter than Fox. <laughs> right, yeah. Just, even just lighter than Game & Watch, I think. I'm not sure It's entirely. close, right? It, it's yeah. almost negligible. Especially in this kind of matchup, where both these characters have so much kill power. If they do find the setup or a read, they're dead. Yeah, both of which are glass cannons. Oh, the two. We might not see very high percents of this set or in uh, this game. Yeah, depending on what kind of kills they get, especially from Mewtwo. Uh, game of Watch does struggle if you do survive past like 100. No, actually, uh, Mewtwo, I'm not entirely certain, but he might be able to punish that up smash on shield with a grab, which can result in an up throw. Yep. The 2-2, two -two. there it is, Advil ready for it. And Demitis, this is actually a very big deficit for him. And, uh, that was an excellent landing mix-up, the the B reverse frying pan. Yeah, the frying pan. Yeah, he'll use it. So, and then he, he you have to respect it too, because you don't know where it's flying. He doesn't know where it's flying either. Uh oh. Set off stage here. We'll see what Evo does to recover. Just kind of recovers low. Bucket is also a factor. Uh, well, that's true. I don't know if one shadow ball entirely kills the bucket, but a no, full bucket so. will likely kill Mewtwo at zero. Yes. No, that's not even like. Th that's for sure. It'll break shield. It'll kill him at zero. Zomitis also really can't edge guard here. Because Meta. Uh, I keep saying Meta Knight. Game of Watch has invincibility on his up beast. So Mewtwo's dare is almost useless when he's recovering straight up. Yeah, th 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 and that's why we don't see Demitis going off stage at all. He just respects the recovery and like tries to read his get up option from there. I think he just wants to rely on Mewtwo's kill power. Just because Mewtwo does have pretty good kill power. Yeah, but we haven't, I mean, 131 Game of Watch, you should be able to get the kill here. Advo the, the issue is he's playing survival. on the edge. There's nothing Demitis can do about that. Oh, that's it's a full, full. Oh. hello? Okay, uh, not what I expected, but. Same. Yeah, I think he just like buffered it or something because he probably was mashing down B because he wanted to get it out. That uh, looks like what he wanted. It looked like he was sitting on the ledge the whole time to bait a Shadow Ball. Yeah, he was definitely ready for it. Oh, he tried to, I believe he tried to up B there. That's why you saw him go flying. Uh, he does have a win box on startup. Whoop. He definitely has Meta Knight, though he has a sword, doesn't have the greatest spacing. Mewtwo's down tilt has some pretty good range. Yeah, and that's range. important and in this matchup too, if you can outspace Game of Watch. Yeah, it's and it's easy to outspace Game of Watch with that Mewtwo tail for sure. As even the dash attack wasn't able to challenge him there. The turtle though, Franklin coming out. Franklin. <laughs> Oh, just trying to escape there. I like the escape option, but now where's he land? Are you? I thought that hit for sure. But instead of getting the power shield. And you know what's actually scary? What's that? Mewtwo might die to an up smash right now. Oh, that's gross. Now, I, now I don't, I don't like, think. Yeah. I don't think Game of Watch will die to anything unless it's charged. But, but Mewtwo might die to an. Well, he definitely die now. Yeah, definitely die now. To that it. was the sweet spot we were talking about earlier when we saw the sour spot. Uh, almost not kill at 160. Oh. Uh, the Midas reading roll away, but instead Advil rolling in. Yeah, if he fades back his jump, then he has an easy punish on that up smash. On both shield, maybe not, but fading back the jump, easy. Uh, now watch both players. They're both playing so careful here. Where Demitis doesn't even want to overextend his like positional lead. Is he uh -oh. dead? No, he's fine. Hits him with a Chris Hansen. Take a seat. <laughs> take a seat. <laughs> All right. Is this up throw percent right now? I believe so. Wait. 
especially with that that rage is gonna help him out a ton. And oh. then remember, the, the, in this game, the, oh, oh, oh my, my gosh, goodness. Game of Watch's frame data. Oh, uh, you might have saved him. Yeah, that's that that's close. important. Oh, oh my God, the, the tech, tech, the tech. That was now he has to win this game. He right? has to. He has to win the game. That's Wait, it. He it. took it. There it is. Demite is popping off a little bit too. Yeah. All right, I forgot to point this out, but characters with teleporting recoveries, their two frame window is a little bit bigger. Uh, okay. I don't think that applies to Sheik because Sheik's the top tier. She doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, but like, I was like no. Zelda and Palutena and Mewtwo, uh, their ledge snap two frame window is larger. That in combination with how long lasting Game of Watch's dash attack is mm -hmm. could be devastating for uh, Demitis when recovering if he has to upbeat. Right. It only happened once because Demitis was almost never off stage. Which, is, which shows his great positioning. Yes, right? that was an excellent stage position for Demitis. But if that happens in the future, that could be devastating for Demitis. At the same time, pivotal for Advo. So going into game three, there's the up. He was trying to escape with the up again. That's where you would see it. So. Here we're so going to try to see uh, Advil try to make some adjustments. He doesn't want to get too flustered. He does get emotional about this game, though. And typically, I don't see Demita show a lot of emotion, but there was a there was a pretty big fist pump coming yeah. from him for that game. <gasps> oh, he's going to try to chase him here, especially trying to cover the line. He might look for an up smash. Not committing, though. He tried to read Advil going one way, but instead going the other. But yeah, uh, going back to like Mewtwo's like a vanish recovery. If you do vanish above the ledge, you can't get two frames. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's like a thing with any like vanish recovery. It's actually it's pretty interesting. That's why if sometimes sometimes you'll see Sheiks go above the ledge and then and then teleport the recovery onto the ledge. But it can't be tricky with the angles, but you can get it. If he does, re if he's forced to recover low, however, that uh, that dash attack could be devastating to, to Mewtwo. Yeah. Just keep sending him off stage. It will kill eventually, but not until like higher percents. And, and, uh, and Demitis Advil doesn't want him to get there at all. Demite is doing a lot better this game. I don't know if it's an adaptation or, but either either way, this is the, the most like the entire set he's been playing with a deficit yeah. aside from this game. Yeah, and I think I think it's just due to the fact that he's playing a lot slower. He's playing a lot more patient, not letting Advil get anything for freeze, making him work for it. Is he still struggling at the ledge, which he has for basically the past minute? He's probably riding a little bit of momentum too. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that. Uh, does Demitis typically do that, like right off momentum? Uh, I mean, he did use the main Falcon, which that's the Falcon. Right, yeah. That's the Falcon stereotype. Um, but <gasps> oh, I feel like it's somewhat of a factor for Demitis. No, the down tilt coming out. I don't think he necessarily has low lows, but he definitely has high, high highs. Highs, gotcha. Yeah. Advil just an emo emotional overall, and he, you know what happened? He uh, he wasn't like that until he got on like PR. <laughs> <laughs> like That's it's stressful it. because once you're on the PR, now there's pressure. You have to do well, otherwise people think you're a fraud. Well, not just that, but I think he started caring about the game more in general. So that's also a factor like, too, yeah. yeah. But Right there, the Florida air coming out, and you said that's where we go back to the kill power of Mewtwo is so strong. Where he can just—he doesn't even have to get like a re. He can just keep throwing it out until it hits. It'll eventually go. Oh, and there it is. The invincible up smash eating through the forward air, able to take the stock, and only an 11% deficit. This is anyone's game. What? 47? And again, looks like Advo will reclaim the lead. Demitis, again, has to play from the uh, losing position. And he now looks he like he's mind camping at all, right? No, when you have the lead, camping is usually the most optimal way to play. Optimal is not a uh, synonym for exciting, but Advil's used to this. He does play Nero. <laughs> he does play Nero a lot, and he's like the timeout king in Michigan. Oh, the read on the air dodge, and that's going to be a, a nice punish there for Demitis. I like that he waited for it because he has noticed that Advil does have a bit of an air dodging habit. Basically, actually, I think Advil has a land, uh, just, he mixes up his landing, but he, he'll land like aggressively pretty much every time, rather than going to the ledge. Ooh! And that down air can actually out. kill sometimes. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like, janky. If Demitis is to try to go up for something. Mewtwo's air dodge, that also might be a reason Demitis wanted to make this Mewtwo switch, is because it might just help him out on some of Game of Watch's 2 2 confirms. <gasps> Whoa, is the that down it? smash? That's are it. you kidding? Off the roll. Advil sent to Ludicers. Demitis moving on. That was an exciting set. It was. And that was the back hit, too. He just barely spaced that like perfectly. That was a phenomenal down smash. I agree. We've had some very, like, I don't and I'm think biased too. I love Evo. Since singles has started, 
on stream since we've been commentating, there has not been a single boring set.